Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel ADB Learning. Today in this video we are going to build this rock, scissor and paper game in Python. So without further ado, let's deep dive to the VS Code and start building this game. So I have made an empty Python file here named scissor paper rock.py and I have got the different pictures of rock, paper and scissors for the user and the computer. Now we are going to build this game by using the GUI model that is provided by the Python is named Kinter. So use the kint to use the Kinter, simply import it by using from Kinter import all. So this will import all the method that is provided by the Kinter. Okay. Now we are going to define our main window. To define our main window, simply give the name of that window and we call the TK method that is provided by the Kinter and we are going to use the dot main loop method. This main loop method will run whenever our application is ready to start. Now, let me go ahead and run this file. If I run this, then you can see we have got our main window. Now, you can see here it is giving the title of heading as TK. Now, I want to change this title. So, to change this, you can simply use dot title method and pass in the name that you want to use it as the title. I am going to use name seizure rock seizure paper. Now if I run this then you can see here the title of this heading is rock seizure and paper. Right now I want to change the background color and I can do this by using the configure method and simply pass in the argument background. Let me say I want to make it as green. As you can see, I have got this green background in our main window. You can also customize the colors by simply giving the hex value of the color. Now I am going to give the hex value as 9b. 59 basics okay so this will be the hex value for the purple color okay so this is the color that we want to use now let me first insert the pictures of rock scissor and paper in our main window now let me first define the pictures here Let me name the picture as rock image. But before doing this, we are going to install one third party module named pillow. You can simply do it by writing pip install pillow in, a, in your terminal. Okay, I have already installed this pillow. You install it by simply writing this pip install pillow in a terminal and simply hit the enter. Now, to use the pillow, you have to simply import that from pill import image and image tk okay so use image tk dot photo image method and use image dot open method to open the image let me give the name of the image that's rock user dot png. As you can see, this is the image rock user dot png. Right now, I am going to copy this code and paste it for other images for paper. I am going to use paper dot png image. And for the Caesar image, I am going to name it as Caesar image comp and use the picture name Caesars.png. Sorry, I misspelled it Caesars.png. Okay, now we have imported all our pictures. Now we are going to place that picture. Let me give the 
comment as insert picture okay now uh, the python gui model kinter provides the different widgets to design our screen like buttons and labels and many more so we are going to use the label widget here to lay down our picture okay now to use that you simply give the name of the label let me say it's user label for the label of label of the image of the user okay so user use this label method provided by the kinter and simply specify in which window you want to place this label okay we have name our window here as root now simply pass that name as root and now give the image argument here and simply give the name of the image that you want to so let me say initially i want to show the image of caesar so write caesar image okay and simply for the similarly for the computer write computer label give the same method label pass the root and give the emails let me say it's seizures emails okay this will lay down the images in the labels now what we want to do is we want to place this label in our window okay in the fixed position okay now for this the kinter provides three different methods they are place grid and pack now in this case we are going to use the grid okay in the grid we have to specify the rows and the column now to place that simply give the name of the label that you want to use use the grid method give the row and the column where you want to place that label now for the computer image i want to place that in the first row and the column will be zero okay that is in the first column right now and in the for the user label i am going to place that in the same row but the column will be four I am going to give certain spaces in between these two emails right now if I go ahead and run this you can see we have got these two images right of the seizures but one thing you notice here that this label is taking the gray background and by default right so this is not looking nice so what we can do is we can simply specify the color of the label background color of the label and we are going to use the same color as that of the background now let me copy this and let me place this now if I go ahead and run this you can see now it is taking the same in, uh, background that that of the main window right now let us insert the scores of the user and the computer okay now let me give the name for the user as score of user let me give it as player score and that will be the label we are going to use the same widget that is label and we are going to use that in the root right and text will be initially zero right this text is the text that is we are going to store in the label let me give the font of 100 and give the same bz right otherwise it is going to take the gray background right background and let me give the foreground that is for the text color that is white and for the computer i am going to name it as computer score and will be label root text will be zero right and let me copy this because all of these are going to be same let me copy this all now let me place this uh, but before placing i have also copied the extra bracket here now we are going to use that same green grid method okay now let me say computer score dot grid 
and we are going to keep the row of one and column of one and for the player score we are going to give the row of same one and column of three right now let me see if it is uh, working or not you can see it is working right it is giving here zero zero right now let me place the button here okay now uh, to place the button we can use the button widget that is provided by the kinter okay yeah now for the button of rock let me see rock that will be the button and we are going to place that button in the window right in our main window that is root okay and let me give the width of the button as 20 height as 2 and the label of the button will be given inside this text argument and let me give the background color for this button also okay and i am going to give the background color as ff3e4 okay so this will be the no uh, the d also right uh, i think ff3e4 the right so this is the background color for the button of the rock and let me give the foreground color of white that will be the text color that is showing this rock here and for the bottom of the paper i am going to copy the same thing here to so see it will be right and for the seizure will be consider the same button okay now we have to change this label this will be paper and this will be seizure right seizure okay now let me put that in the grid and will be in the row of two column of one and simply place that there also row will be of equals to two column will be also two now dot dot this is missing here right now let me give grid of row of same two and column will be of three right you can also specify the grid like we did in this here you can use this rock dot grid also what i have done in the same line okay so i have specified here double equals to right now if i run this now it is working now what we can do is let us change the background color of this paper and scissor right so the color of the scissor will be the same as this background color in this picture okay the background color of the paper will be f a d 0 2 e and for the scissor its background color will be 0 a b d e 3 now let me go ahead and run this file as you can see now it is giving the different colors right for the rock it's giving red for the paper it's quite yellow and for the scissor it's quite blue right now let us place the indicator to indicate the side of the user and the computer we say it's indicators now um, for the indicator of the user let me say it's user indicator and we are going to use the same widget level we are going to place that in our window root and we are going to give the font of 50 and the text will be user and for the computer we are going to use comp indicator and we are going to use the same line of code root is 40 but the text is 
computer right now let us place this using the grid so user indicator dot grid so the row will be zero we are going to place in the zero row as you can see here we have placed the picture in the first row that is one row, row one right now we are going to place in the row of zero and column will be let me say it's three for the user and for the computer row will be same zero and column I misplay I misspell this the column will be one okay now if I go ahead and run this then you can see we got this indicator but it is taking the gray background right now let us change this background color and place the same background as that of this okay let me copy this and paste this here now if i run this you will see the background will be same as that of the original background of our main window now uh, let us place the message that will say you you ruin you lose or it's a tie that will be at the bottom of this okay now let me define this here let me say it's messages let me say message that will be close to the level we are going to pass it to the root let me give the font of 50 and let uh, let us not define the text here we will define the text programmatically whenever uh, it's a case of the win or a lose or a tie. let me just give this background and the foreground as same as that of the above levels that we used okay now to place this simply use message dot grid and give the row of three i think let me say see the bottom yeah the bottom is in the row two so it will be in the row three and let me give the column of two to exactly place that at the center of the screen now if we want to test this if it is working let me give the text and say you lose now if i run this you can see we have got that message here right now let me remove this as we are going to set that later on now we have done with our gui part now let us go to the functional part okay now let us uh, update our picture that is of the rock scissors and paper whenever the user press, uh, presses the button okay now me define a function that is to update the choices let me say def update choice let me give the choice x that is the, as the argument and now we have to check what the x is okay the x can be either of scissor either of paper or a rock now let us check if x is equals to the rock then what we are going to do is we are going to give the picture or to change the picture of the rock okay so as you can see here we have given the picture name as the computer level and user level right so to change the picture you simply use user level dot and use the configure method so user level dot configure and press in the pass in the argument image and that will be is equals to the name of the image so the name of the image here is as you can see it's the rock image for the user right so simply pass rock image and else if x is equals to paper then then you should write user label dot configure and passing the image as the paper right the name of the image will be paper image paper image else 
the user level will be of C0. So the emails will be C0 emails, right? So these are the cases. If the user presses the button for the rock, then we should show the picture of the rock. And if passes the paper, then we should show the picture of the paper. Else we will show the picture of the seizure. Now, to use this function in the button, you can simply pass in the argument as the command. So, you simply write command and that will be equals to. And since we have to pass in the argument, we will be using here the lambda function. So, simply use lambda and write the name of the function that is update choice so write update choice and pass in string as rock because this is the uh, button of the rock right similarly do it for the other two buttons let me copy this and paste this here this will be of paper and let me place this here also and then that will be of seizure okay ci ssr seizure right now let me go ahead and check this if it is working or not so okay it is giving me an, an error as identification error so i think i have given this okay this should be there and this should be here Now I think it will work. Let me run this. Now it's working, right? So let me check if it is changing. Yes, it is changing the picture here. As you can see, if I pre uh, press the rock, then it's showing the image of the rock. If I saw the paper, then it's showing the paper. If I press the scissor, then it is updating the scissor also, right? Now, as you can notice here, it is only changing the picture of the user. Now what we have to do is we have to also change the picture of the computer also, right? So we can do that by using the random number. Okay, so let me first define the choices. So the choices present are rock, seizure, and paper, right? Uh, I think let me press place the seizure at the last because how we will miss the sequel okay now this is for the user right let me comment this as for user now for computer let me comment this as for computer okay now so uh, so what we have to do is we have to first generate the random number to choose in between either the rock the paper or a scissor now to generate a random number we have to import a library named random okay so you can do that by from random import rand int it will generate a random integer for us and we have to generate that random integer that is in between the 0 and 2 okay that the number could be either of 0 1 or 2 right so we can generate the random number by simply using that function random okay now let me first write here comp choice that is let me uh, use this variable to store the choice of the computer okay now you can simply do this by using choice choices that is this and we could pass in the index of either 0 1 or 2 to get the value that will be either raw paper or scissor you can do that by using random and you need the value from 0 to 2 right okay this will generate the random number between the 0 and 2 now let me check the cases as similar as that of the user okay and i think i missed the indentation here because this function should also have indentation here right so now if 
comp choice is equals to the rock then what we have to do we have to change the comp level right and you can do this by simply passing the configure configure method and emails will be rock emails comp right and else if comp choice is equals to paper then the comp label will be of the paper right this image will be paper image comp and else if these are not the cases then the comp label will be of the scissor image right so scissor image let me run this okay it's not running let me kill this terminal and start the press one now let me run this now it is running right now if i change the paper it's not uh, changing the picture of control let me see yeah it is changing now right so it's wrong now yeah it is changing the picture for the both user and the computer as you can see right so the choices for the computer is randomly changing right yeah it's working perfectly now let me define another three function to update the score of the user the score of the computer and to update the message that will show the message of the uh, win lose or tie okay now let me first write the function to update the message let me comment it down as to update message so def update message this will take in the argument x now to update the message you have we can see here i have we i have defined the label name as message so you can do that by simply writing msc that is the name of the label passing this bracket and you want to change the text property of this message so you want to set the property of the text that will be equals to this argument x that's it for this update message okay so what is that is it will simply assign this x that is the message to the text property of this label name message okay now this is for updating the message now to update the uh, user score okay or player score so user score simply write dev update user score okay now so to update the user score what we have to do is we simply have to take the current value of the score of the user let me see the score so we have defined the score of the player as the player score and the score of the computer as the computer score okay so what we have to do is let me first name the variable score and we are going to take the text property of the player score and since this is the label is in the form of the string we have to convert this into the integer to add the value to the current score right so to change it to the integer simply use the casting right so wrap this with the int now what you can simply do is score plus equals to one what will it do it will simply add one to the current score value right and we have to return this score value to the level to the same level that is to the player score right we are going to set that to the text property of the player score and uh, since this is an integer value now we have to convert that to the string you can do that by using str right str and score so what it does is it simply convert the score into string and assign that to the text property of the player score label okay now it's time for defining the method that will update the score of the computer okay so update comp score let me say that and simply you can do is copy this code and paste okay uh, yeah. and this will be not a player score this will be computer let me see what i have defined mm, the score of the computer is computer score right so it's computer score 
computer score. Yeah, that's it. These are the three functions that will be used for updating the message, updating the score of the computer, and updating the score of the user. This is to update computer score. Right now, uh, let us define the function that will be used to check the winner. Okay, so we are going to check now which is the winner, either the user or the computer. Okay, now let me define another function to check winner. Simply write diff check win, and we are going to pass in the two argument here that is player and computer. So the player uh, will be the choice of the player and this computer argument will be the choice of the computer. Now we are going to first check if player is equals to the computer. That is if the choice of the player is equals to the choice of the computer. Right? Then this is the case of the type. Right? So what we can do is we can update the message. It's a tie, right? Now, else if let me say the player chooses rock, okay, and there can be the two choices for the computer that can be either a scissor or a paper. Now, let me say if the computer chooses the paper, if computer is equal to the paper then in this case if the player chooses the rock and computer chooses the paper then the winner will be of course computer right so we can update the message as you lose and we are going to update the score of the computer right else what we can do is, sorry, I made the in colon here. So we are going to update the message as you win, and in this case, we are going to update the score of the user, right? Now, else if the player chooses the paper here, okay? Now, if the Player chooses the paper, and if computer chooses Caesar, then we have to update the message as you lose, right? Because Caesar cuts the paper, and in this case, we have to update the score of the computer. I notice here I have missed the brackets here. And here else we have to update the message as you win and update the score of the player. Right now we have done for the rock, we have done for the paper. Now we have to do it for the season. Right? So else if player is equals to Caesar and if computer chooses rock then we have to update the message as you lose and we have to update the score of the computer and else we have to update the message as you win and update the score of the user and else we don't want to do anything we simply write the pass statement to pass this else i think this is it and now what we have to do is we have to call that function check win inside of this update choice now simply call that function check win 
and in the first as you can notice here we have to pass the argument of the player that is the x right that is the argument is same as that the argument of this object choice right that is the argument is being passed by the user right now and the second argument is of the computer and that will be of this computer choice right so passing computer choice now let me go ahead and run this and let me see if it is working or not now if i choose rock it's saying it's tied because the user chooses rock and the computer also chooses rock if i choose paper then it is again showing it's tie if i choose scissor and you can see it is showing now you lose because the user chooses the scissor and the computer chooses rock and the rock always beats the scissor right if i now choose rock and it's tie if again i choose rock it's again a tie if i again choose rock okay it's again tie now if i again choose rock the computer chooses the scissor and user wins now if i again choose the paper and then the computer has chosen the rock so the user won if i choose the scissor computer won if i choose the rock it is again the rock if i choose the paper it is also in paper now if i choose the rock it's computer is choosing scissor and the user won here yeah. so that's it i hope you enjoy building this game i'm also going to put the github link for this code and all of this picture in the description down below if you like this video please do like share and subscribe